Very important to note, you are not just going into samadhi and retriving with the senses. You are also engaged in working for the welfare of all the beings. You know, people say, oh, I had conversation with God. And manifest God is everywhere. How can he even converse with you? Then you must be different from him. If you are two, then it is not God. It's your own mind which is conversing with you. If God is omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient, why would he need to communicate with you? And who are you? You are not different from him. Correct? You are that. So here, those who really adore the unmanifest divinity, there is no words, and there is nothing you need to see or hear. You restrain all your senses. You don't want to touch, taste, smell, or see even, then you go in a deep state of samadhi meditation. And Lord Krishna says, when you go to that space of fullness or nothingness, you still come to me only, because I am that. I am not the body, I am the imperishable being. So, when you restrain your senses and go deep in meditation, whom do you connect? You connect to that which is nothing but me. So, they also come to me. And what do they do? Very interesting here. and Very important to note. You are not just going into samadhi and retriving with the senses. You are also engaged in working for the welfare of all the beings. Not just my community, my religion, my people, or my state, or my nationality. It says, one who is working for the welfare of all the beings, ceaselessly, and restraining the senses and connecting with that eternal, emptiness or fullness deep inside me, restraining the senses, he also attains to me.